Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial I'm going to make the left hand bat here controllable by the player. So to do that, if we go to game view here, game view is receiving on touch events and we're, we're, we are returning true and returning true has the effect that if you receive a touch event, like a, I think it's called a down event or a press event, I can't quite remember, then you will then receive um, kind of drag events or motion events and if you return false then you'd still re you'd still kind of receive the down event but you wouldn't receive the drag events following that so you have to return true to say that you've handled the event and I want to pass these events onto the game so I probably just want to say something like game dot on touch event and just pass this straight through pass the event straight through so let's just write that and I'll click this and create the method in the game so now we've got an on touch event in the game and now I want to handle this by saying well you see there are, there are various different kinds of events um, I could say something like event dot get uh, I think it's get action and I could say if that is equal to motion event dot action action uh, down for example or if it's equal to action move and that sort of thing uh, I could take different um, events depending, depending on whether the user is moving their finger around or they've just pressed it down or they've just released their finger Probably there's an action up, is there? Yeah, I think so. Um, but I, I don't think I'm going to need to use these here because if the in this game, if the user touches the screen and moves a finger, or, or it doesn't really matter, I just want to move the bat to the corresponding uh, vertical position. So I'm, I'm, I don't really need to differentiate between these different kinds of events. So probably all I need to do is say something like player, which is the player's bat, dot set position. And I haven't created this method yet, but I will. And I can pass in event dot get x and event dot get. Actually, I don't need event dot get. Um, I don't need event dot get x because I'm not going to move the bats uh, horizontally. I'm only going to move them just take a look at the screencast here I'm just going to move them up and down and uh, you can make you can make the handling of these bats a lot nicer than I'm going to but I'm just going to show you something really simple just to kind of get this uh, implemented and working uh, so you could for example check to, when the user touches the screen you could check have they actually touched the bat and if so you could know where they they touch the bat and then if they move their finger you could allow them to basically drag the bat via the point that they've actually touched or you could do something like move the what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the center of the bat immediately to wherever they touched on the screen vertically and not worry about making it nice you know so um, I'll click this error and we'll go to create method set position in type bat and this has got to set the vertical position of the bat and to do that, I'm just going to do. I'm just going to say set y, and I'll pass in y and subtract once again get rect dot center y, so that we move the center of the bat to the point that the player touched, rather than rather than uh, moving the top left hand edge to the well, rather than moving the top of the bat to the point that the player touched, which would look quite rubbish. With the um, with the other bat it's going to be a little bit more complicated because I'm going to have the computer control it but I've got a, a very simple algorithm that I've been playing around with and we're just going to implement that to, to try to make the game look playable and look like the computer's controlling it in something vaguely resembling a sensible manner. So here we are um, and now if I touch the screen on my phone I'm moving the bat to where I touch it. I actually I can touch anywhere on the screen 
because I haven't checked that the point that I've touched is actually on the bat. So I just touch the screen in some position that I want to move the bat to, and the bat moves there. It looks horribly jerky on the screencast, but on my phone, it's, it's nice and responsive. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we'll put some intelligence into the opponent bat. Um, so join me again then, and until next time, happy coding.